Thanks for joining us for part five of the Pet Shop Build. We're putting together the apartment. We have the first two floors done. We're going to finish the roof and actually start building the pet shop. Stay with us. So the bricks you see here are left over from bag two. And all of these bricks, minus a couple extra pieces, should finish the top of our apartment building. So we have uh, the third level, or, or pretty much um, just, a, just a little part up on top, and then a, a roof covering for that. Here in the instruction booklet, this shows what we're going to do right here in the corner. And if you're following along at home, we are still in book one, page 64. This is step one. Uh, of the third level. So we'll just turn this a little bit. Uh, in fact, we're going we're gonna to move this off to the side because we had completed that. So then we can start building our third level. We need to break into our general bag. I'm just going to take the rest of these out because we're going to be finishing the apartment building in a moment. And it looks like we're going to need one of these bigger plates. And we're going to need uh, a skinnier plate. Two, four, six. Two. Oh, no, we need one of these, right? And then two, four, six. Yeah, this one here that comes with the kit. Uh, and then right there, let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, that's what we need. Okay, put these aside then. Oops. Try not to make a mess. There we go. Okay, so I have my instruction booklet down here off camera. You could probably see the corner of it sticking up a little bit. All right, put these off to the side here. Two, four, six, eight. All right, we need one of these. And a couple flat plates. Uh, here we go. One... One by six, and one one by three. That's a jumper plate. Here we go. One by three. So then this will get arranged in a quarter pattern. And then this will go across like that. And then we need the thicker brick like this. And then this will go along the side like that. And then uh, we do need to break into the general bag. We need another slim, longer one. Lay it right next to it like that. Two, four, six, eight. Uh, one of those. One, two, three of these. Oh, there's the other one. Three, and then a one by six. One brick high. And that's a modified two, four, six. There we go. So this will go along the bottom like that, slightly turned this way. And then this will go here. Lock those two together and do that. This will come down all the way to the end here and do this. Yes. All right. I'm going to need two, four, six, eight. Two more. One by eights, the longer bricks. And then we need two, one by two plates and two one by two tiles. Okay. So the big longer one goes over here. And another one goes over here. So we lock those in. Now we need to count studs here. So we go over one. There. And then kitty corner with the angle. There's a plate. There's a plate. And then kitty corner again for the final plate. Oops, sorry, I just hit the camera. My bad. Didn't mean to, to bump you. 
<laughs> it's right here, right on the edge of the table. And uh, we're trying to change the angle so you can get the best view. Before I had it to the side, I'm kind of doing it a little bit straighter on. So hopefully uh, this will be a better shot. You can let me know when you're watching the video if this is uh, preferred. Um, I just have to remember not to hit the camera stand. Okay. So we need one of those. One of these. Mm, one of these clips there. Two those. Two one by one circle studs. These are all black in color. And we need two one by two modified darker grays. And then we need two one by one modified blocks. Here we go. There's one. And looking for the second one. Not too many Legos left in this bag. Is it over here, maybe? Well, let's put some of these smaller ones over here. And these are all the bigger blocks. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Nope, it's got to be over here. Those go. Here it is. Try to hide on me. Okay, so the two one by one circle studs go on each side of our plate with this claw in the middle. So it's even. And then each one of these go on the circle studs and kind of connect. Uh, with this claw piece, they kind of share it. Interesting approach with this part here. Just like that. Yeah. Alright. And then this tile goes on top, almost like a banister or a railing. This is going to go here, along the opening for the staircase. Now, close off this portion a little bit. Put this one in there like that. This one like that. All right, step six. So we need one of these. Two by twos, one brick high, and then a flush tile to go right on top of it. And this is going to be in one brick and over two bricks from our banister. And we need four one by four modified bricks with the uh, Legos on the top and on the side. And those are going to go straight across this portion here. Okay. Step seven. Well, it looks like we're adding on. We need two more of these and another flush tile. This can and this is going to go right next to it, but not exactly behind it. Going to go over here along the side. At least that's what it says here. And we need five one by two white tiles. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And six brown flowers. Three, four, 
five, six. Yes. And we're going to alternate on the front here. We're going to do a flower, and then a tile, flower, tile, flower, tile, all the way across. Make sure that one's on there. Skip one. Put a tile on. Put that tile on. There we go. Put the flower on. Turn that flower so it gets in there good. There. Okay. Step eight. We need six of these looking things. I don't know, I usually as refer to them as uh, backrests or headrests if you make a lot of Lego vehicles. Um, six. Two one by one whites, one brick high. Two one by one flat white tiles. And two one by one circular grays. We need to build two of these. So we take a one by one, and then we put the gray, and we put a flat tile on top. Make sure it's nice and square. We'll do two of those. White tile, gray, flat tile. So we got these two, and they're going to go back here in this corner. So one goes there, one goes on the very end. They're going to fill the gaps with these things. So it looks like the whole perimeter of our third layer now has something occupying it. And it looks like it's going to be a little garden area over in the corner. So we need two brown plates no, 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 Where would it be? Where would it be? No, there's one. Is it buried under something? Probably. Well, we need a lot more other things, too. So we need two red one-by-ones, two yellow one-by-ones, two black one-by-ones, two green stems, two light green one-by-ones, two two-by-two two circular plates, a light brown, six green flowers, two, four, six, a lot of little pieces in this one, and two one by four red plates. There's that. Oh no, we only need one of these. Okay, good. Oh, actually, we only need one red plate too. I can't count, it appears. Must be late in my day. And we're just going to stagger the flowers, but we're all going to make sure that they're facing the same way, have the corners touch. That way we can put stuff on the other bricks if needed. If not, it gives it a nice uniform pattern. We're going to take our two two by two circulars and we're going to put them on the bottom. And this side's going to get red one by ones. And the other side's going to get the light uh, lime color, green one by ones. And that is going to go here. And we're going to take our red one by four. We're going to alternate green flower, yellow one by one, green flower, yellow one by one.
And then in the middle of the green flowers, we're going to stick our green stems like this. And then our one by one blacks are going to go on the bottom in the corners. And then that is going to go here, like that. Cool. Coming together. Okay, now, three one by sixes. One, two, three. One one by eight. One one by three. Three one by ones. And then one by twos, one brick high, these hinged pieces. Going to need two males and two females. And then put these together like that. And this is going to sit on that plate and then just kind of stay there. These are going to swing open. It's going to be some sort of access here because you're on a plate. You're on a, a flat tile. So that's going to be something. And now we're going to take our two, four, six, one by six. We're going to come in. I'm not going to go right to the corner. Come over here, do a one by six. And then we're going to use our one by eight after that. And then in the middle, we're not going to go again along the side. We're going to come in one. There's a one by one. And then a one by six. And another one by one there. Make sure that's nice and square. Then our one by three here. Last one by six there. And then our one by one right there. Cool. Now, two one by twos. One one by three flat plate. One one by six plate. One one by eight. One two by eight. Two one by sixes. One brick high brown blocks. And then two, four, six, eight, two one by eight brown blocks. Okay, so we're going to go here, build this side up. Oop. One by eight and a one by six. And this is going to be a one by six and a two by one by two. Another one by two here. And then our last one by eight. And we're also going to take our plate, go across here, and then our Two by eight and go, go across here. And then this one's going to close up that sign. And then there, two by three is going to go there. Very right, good. On to step 12. All right. Two one by sixes. One one by eight. Two one by threes, which are over here. There's one, there's two. One one by two. One one by one. One one by one modified. And with the post, there we go. One black. One by one. Two jumper plates. Dark bluish gray. Slide those over. One yellow cone. One trans blue one by one and one trans orange one by one. Okay. So we're going to take the modified and the yellow cone, turn it upside down, put the black stud on top. This is going to be some sort of exterior light. And that's going to go right there in the corner. And then our one by three. Oops. It's going to go here. Make sure that that's there. And then we have our glass block kind of atmosphere. Uh, the blue one, 
the orange one, and a one by two. Make sure that that's nice and straight. There we go. And then we need a one by three across the back, and oh, one by six, and then our last one by one will close off that. And then we need a one by six, and our one by eight. And then we got two jumper studs in three and up one right there. Now we're going to make some windows. So we got two big window panes. We need two little window panes. Finding the glass. Now here's the actual window. Window. Oh no, just one. One little. Oh, that's good because I was not finding the other glass. I'm really tired, it appears. Okay. Oh, and then four one by two modifieds. Okay. So then we got these window panes. And they're going to face exterior. When I say face exterior, there's no r real uh, indentation, just a little bit. The major indentation is going towards the back of the house or towards where the staircase would be. And then our little one, uh, same direction, goes on these jumper studs with the major indentation portion pointing towards the back. And then our modified bricks are going to be stacked too high and they're going to go on either side of this smaller window, just like so. Alright, now we're going to get into seven of these big guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of those and two of the slimmer ones. Two one by four red plates. There's a red plate, there's a red plate. One one by eight, light bluish gray, and one two by eight, light bluish gray. So the two by eight we're going to run these bigger red column bricks. No, column bricks, they're sloped. Two by two, which are probably three bricks high. They're going to go on there, and then we're going to take our one by eight all the way across the top of these. And then we're going to take our smaller red one by fours, both of them go across it. And then this is going to go along the back here. Now there is going to be a slight overhang when you put this on right here, but um, that's where it goes according to the instructions. And we're going to take one larger slope brick and we're going to put one in each corner like that. And this one is going to go right up against the smaller window portion. We're going to take a slim one and go next to this. And we're going to take another slim one and go right here, like that. Okay. Now, one one by six, brown brick. Two one by eights. I'm just going to move all these pieces to the other side. This is it. This is all that's left, just what's right here. That's it. We're going to break into bag three. We should be done with the apartment building in just a moment. And we need some more trans. We need another blue. We need another orange. We need two more jumper plates, only this time they're the light bluish gray. There's one. And there's two. Now we need four one by two browns. There's three, there's four, two, one by ones. There you go, there's those. All right, now let's get these on here. So, we're going to have a one by eight all the way across the back here. And then a one by two, another one by two. 
another one by two. Now we're going to put the trans in the same place, only we're going to alternate the colors. Nice little glass block kind of arrangement in the flower garden area. This has got to be the roof. I can't imagine you would have, well, I mean, yeah, I guess you could have uh, plant arrangements inside a home, but uh, I'm pretty sure this is the roof. I'll put our one by one there, one by one there, and then we're going to have the jumper plates on top of this little window, but they're going to stick out over the window. So there's like a little little covering there. Now we're going to have two hinged plates. Need these. There's those two. And a one by six. Four one by one. Single studs. One, two, three, four. There we go. And then two red modified bricks. And these modified bricks are going to be right here for a little design over our smaller window. Mm. Tight squeeze right in there. There we go. Okay. And I have a single brick there. Then our plate is going to go across all of this. Then we're going to have our swivel plate, only this is not going to go all the way across the window. It's going to remain open like that. And there's a single there, a single there. Other modified plate's going to do the same thing, just the corner, and then our final single one by one there. All right, all red bricks, one by six, two one by fours. Uh, there we go. Two one by twos. There. A red jumper plate. Two two by two red tiles. And a single one by one light bluish gray stud. Take a plate, put the jumper on top, put the single stud on top, and then this is going to finish up our design there. Two one by fours and from the corner. And then our longer plate is going to go straight across and then finish with our 1x2 plate. Then our tiles are going to go here like that. And then when we open the windows, open it from the inside. There we go. Uh, now four 1x6 browns. A lot of browns in this pet shop. That's the color of the building, so there ought to be a lot of browns, right? One by three. Now we need two of the big red roof tiles. And then a one by two roof tile. Or a two by two, I should say. Okay. One of the big red ones is going to go right across the front here. And then our single is going to go on the end. And then a one by six, one by three, one by one, and then a one by six, and then a roof tile all the way across the back. And then our final two one by sixes along the side. So that's what we look like from the back. Nice glass block, a little light in the back. 
That's pretty neat. Yeah, coming along. Okay, now we need our green door. And we're going to have it uh, connect like this on this side with a gray one by one stud for the door handle. It's going to swing outward. That's going to go right there. And now we need a bunch of green and gray slope bricks. So we need two gray and four green. And those are going to complete this portion here. Now you're going to go, you're going to connect them. You're going to go in one, but it's going to be flush across with these roof tiles. And there is sort of a, a pattern. It's going to look a little out of place because there's only two grays. You would expect alternating colors. Uh, it, it does have a pattern. You have one on the side, two in the center, offset by a gray. So there's a pattern there. It just doesn't, doesn't look like you're going to do that. But it's okay. Matches our green door. And now we have our flush tiles. So we need a lot of gray here. So we need two jumpers, the one by four style, six one by two tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two one by three tiles. One, two, and then five. Looks like one by sixes. One, two, three, four, five, one by sixes. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go around the outside like so. And one by three, here we go. And then a tile. And then the other one by three. And then a two. And then a jumper. And then a two. And then oop. Come on, work with me. There we go. A long one. Long one, and then a two, a two, a jumper, and a two. And then it shows this being placed on top of the house as the third level. So I'm just going to bring in the second level, and it'll be flush in the back like that. So that's how it'll look when we put the third level on. We'll show you the whole apartment building in just a moment. I'll put this over here. All right. Now, just got to make sure that we have our jumper plate. There we go. Now it's on there. Good. Okay. Now we're, we're finishing with the, with the roof. Uh, we're going to close it off now. So we got our little plate. We're going to take a brown one by eight all the way down the side. And we need our bigger one in our general purpose bag. We need a two by eight. We're going to go right in the center. Lock this right down like that and then we need two one by eights two one by sixes so this is going to be the longer one lock it in there this is going to do a one by six I'm going to take the longer one by eight and then one by 
by 6. Now we need three ledge pieces, four black one by ones. There we go. And then two one by two slope bricks. These are going to go back to back over here like that. And then oh, and they're going to alternate. So we got a single. that off like that. Now one modified one by two, two gray one by one cylinders, one one by two, four brown cones, and this is going to be the final step folks. This is going to complete our apartment building, and it's also going to end book number two. And I believe it's going to be the end of our video. Try to keep these to a reasonable time frame so that uh, we don't keep you too long. And that is the end also of book one. So we'll put book one off to the side. And I'm just going to zoom out just a little bit. Oop, zoom out. There we go. And I'm going to bring in the whole apartment building. I'm going to put the roof on like this all the way around. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit more. And that is our apartment building. So we have three floors, the main floor where we had a bathroom. We have a, a little um, vase in the window with some flowers and our door, our mailbox. In fact, we'll just take off that level. We have our hat rack and then we have our staircase going up, little couch and then uh, a telephone on a table. And then we have our crawl space access over by the red coffee mug. And then we'll attach our second floor, which is currently under renovation. Remember, we have our painter in there. And uh, what I said before was a chair. You know, I, I did realize it was a, a painter. This is actually a paint bucket and then a, a, a trough where you put the paint and you could put the roller in there and, uh, and then you're uh, able to apply it to the wall. And then we have our third floor, which goes right on top just like this, a little bit of overhang in the front. I'll take the roof off. Our third floor has uh, access way to a garden, and then it looks like a little uh, um, uh, bench, which are two different heights, and of course our window that opens up on the top. And then we have our roof cover like that. From the back of the apartment building, that's what it looks like. I like how the garden is exposed. We have our crawl space access down here, and then we have our back door access with a little awning, our trash can, a little flower ledge. And this window does open up from the inside. You can push it out. So not too bad for an apartment building. Thanks for joining us. We will break into bag three and start building the pet shop in the next video, which will be part six. So you'll need instruction booklet two, we still have a few general purpose plates from our bag. We also need the other base plate. And then right here, this is just the leftover pieces from bag number two. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us your comments. Please subscribe. We'll send you alerts when we post new information. And we look forward to speaking to you in the next part. Until then, happy building.